Hello, it's Jim Hutchins for the Jerusalem Connection Spot Report for this week. Well, today, Monday, Vice President Pence is in Israel. He's been in uh, Egypt and Jordan over the weekend, but he's come to Israel. And by his own admission, he says, my aim is to clarify that while recognizing Jerusalem as the capital of Israel, the U.S. is moving to, quote, finally bring this decades-old conflict to an end. Um, Pence has arrived in Israel on uh, Sunday evening, actually, uh, to, to head to Jerusalem. Speaking on Saturday before leaving, excuse me, before leaving Egypt for Jordan, Pence said, I hope that my message here with President El Sisi in Egypt and in Jordan tomorrow, he was speaking on Saturday, and in Israel will make it clear that while the American people and the American president, the American administration, have stated that we recognize Jerusalem as the capital of Israel, we are ready now to move forward. Move forward to resolve long-standing issues and finally bring this decades-old conflict to, the, to an end. The United States of America is deeply committed to restarting the peace process in the Middle East. I think it's significant that uh, in all his remarks here, he, he does not make any mention of, of a commitment to a two-state solution. Uh, Pence is not scheduled to meet, in Pal with, to meet Palestinian leaders who are still angry over Trump's decision on Jerusalem. Uh, but according to the New York Times report from Thursday, the Trump administration is, quote, moving faster than expected to transfer the American embassy to Jerusalem from Tel Aviv by 2019. So during this year sometime, the expectation is that the embassy will be moved. Uh, I couldn't help think of the passage in uh, Matthew where Jesus is giving what we refer to as the Beatitudes, where he says in Matthew chapter 5 and verse 9, Blessed are the peacemakers. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called the sons of God. Now, I'm convinced that both the president and the vice president are legitimate and sincere, genuine seekers of peace. Will that come about? Well, we'll see. <clears throat> But the Apostle Paul adds to this statement by Jesus in the Beatitudes when he says this in Romans chapter uh, 7, or Romans chapter 8, verse 14. Because those who are led by the Spirit of God, those who are led by the Holy Spirit of God, are the sons of God. What a statement. They're the sons of God. And hopefully, by God's grace, we are led by His Spirit. We're certain, certainly children of God, the Scriptures tell us, without equivocation, actually. But also comes to mind <clears throat> the admonition of Yahweh in Psalm 122, verse 6, where He says this, Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. That's not a suggestion. <clears throat> That's an admonition. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May those who love you be secure. Now, I think there are many who have made a genuine effort to establish peace, and I think Vice President Pence, the President, President Trump are certainly among those. But I think we need to recognize that peace will come only when the Prince of Peace reigns supreme. When Yeshua HaMashiach Jesus, the Messiah, the Son of the living God, reigns supreme. That's when peace will be in Jerusalem. So pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Till next week, Od Ki Yavoshilo, or until Messiah comes, Yevarecha Yahweh. Yahweh bless you, bless those you love, bless those who love you. <clears throat>